Hi, everybody. It's Saturday, November 4, 2023. Good evening and welcome to Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. We're the only show that combs through early betting patterns by the public, shows you exactly where you might want to steer clear of public opinion. Today, we've identified three NFL plays where early public betting trends might be a little mis misguided and likely will result in some damage to your bankroll. So we'll try to avoid that. Before we get to it, our show record is 79 and 61. A couple pushes in college football today. We'll come right back in the NFL and get that tomorrow. For everybody that got involved in my college football three-pack, well, ding, 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 we got a winner. Uh, we got our second game in. We have one more game uh, pending, so hopefully we get a 3-0 and night. But got a winner on that package. Thank you for everybody that got involved, and make sure you do tomorrow as well. Moved up to the second spot on the leaderboard, and, uh, you know, all the best to everybody, but we're hoping to take over that number one spot pretty soon. Uh, right now in the NFL, I have my NFL three pack up just like we had for college football, $54.99. Get you all three plays. That also comes with our pick dogs win guarantee where you must profit or you get an immediate site credit for the purchase price. And really, that's the confidence that you deserve when you're putting your money behind a handicapper. Uh, you can also bypass my daily purchases by getting my 30 day all access pass for $399.99. Go ahead and get that credit card out. Uh, roll up our sleeves and let's get to work on Sunday. Nine and five overall over my last 14 plays, five and two in the NFL after a perfect Thursday night. Got side and total in that game, and we hope you're going to return on Sunday. So let's get to our free plays. Uh, starting with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the uh, Houston Texans. Texans minus three. 39 and a half and this total hasn't moved all week but we saw 58 percent of the tickets come in on the over and this is probably going to end up a situation where the money is going to be on the under uh, but the tickets will be on the over so i'm really starting to like if you watch them over the last few weeks and uh, you know texan football has not been exciting to watch but if you've watched them over the last few weeks you're really starting to see their pass rush uh, evolve under uh, D, uh, D'Amico Ryans. Uh, the Texans have played in four straight unders, allowing 55 points in their last four games. Tampa Bay is 7-3 and three to the under in their last 10, including five straight unders. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the under. I don't love the number at 39.5, but I'm still going to take the under. I think the defenses are going to have a terrific day on both sides of the ball on Sunday. The Washington Commanders versus the New England Patriots. The Patriots minus three, even money. And 41, this number opened up at 2.5, was bumped up to 3 with early money uh, coming in, 65% uh, of the overall money as well coming in on the Patriots. There's still 58% of the tickets as well on the Patriots, which has allowed us to get uh, involved in this play. So a lot of Patriot money coming in, both tickets and uh, overall dollars. I'm just, to me guys, I'm just not a fan of Mac Jones. It's nothing personal, but we were all over the Dolphins last week. And why? Because I can't trust Mac Jones to go into Buffalo and beat the Bills and then come right back and beat Miami. It's the same thing this week. He's just not good enough uh, for me. I, I'm not backing a team or a quarterback that has nine touchdowns and eight interceptions. It's just not enough to offer uh, to put my money uh, behind. If we get the same Sam Howell that we did last week against Philadelphia, this game is over. Uh, Washington, you will have to lay some juice to get that three. There are two and a halfs out there, but look for that minus twenty and get that three. And finally, Chicago at New Orleans. New Orleans minus eight and a half, 41. This number has moved a point and a half after opening up at seven with 73% of the tickets coming in on the Saints. Uh, this is a tough game for the Saints. They beat the Colts by 11 last week. Next week they got Minnesota, and this really gives me that feel of a of a sandwich game where we're being asked to lay a large number. We know uh, we knew the Bears would have a tough time last week. I mean, uh, Tyson Bajan put some work on film for the Chargers. We were on the Chargers because of that, but. You know, word out of practice this week is he is going to have full access to the playbook. They feel uh, very confident with him. And into his third week, we should really start to see exactly who he is as a quarterback. He's going to have to test a, a Saints secondary that's been terrific this season. Uh, considering they haven't had much of a pass rush all year, that that's saying something. But he's going to go into a, go into teeth into the teeth of one of the best. Uh, secondaries in the NFL, but uh, I think he's going to at least be good enough to cover this eight and a half. I think it's too many points. We're going to take the Bears plus the eight and a half. So just to recap today's games, 
uh, their Sunday's games, rather. Tampa Bay, Houston, under 39 and a half. Washington, plus three, minus $1.20. And Chicago, plus eight and a half. Please, guys, go to Pick Dogs. Dot com right now get involved with my many one of my many packages up there not just the, the two i want to discuss uh, there's all kinds including my college uh, basketball season pass and so just put that up today three my nfl three pack 54.99 comes with our pick dog win guarantee 30 day all access pass 399.99 guys that's like 13 dollars and 13 cents a day uh, it's a lot better than coming back every single day and buying plays, which I do appreciate, uh, but get involved in that long-term pass, and I will save you some money. No matter how you join me, please make sure you do, guys, and feel free to DM me at Dana Lane Sports. Leave a comment on the YouTube page. Hit the like button if you do, and for Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Sunday.